Welcome back to Vision Matter 3D Printing News. This week we've got Porsche, GM, Cadillac, and BMW doing all sorts of stuff in additive along with 3D printed uranium and ceramic turbines being printed in orbit along with edible things and a few other things of course. But firstly, from the whole team here at Vision Miner, to you, your friends, your family, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and thanks for being with us. Whether you're a customer or you're out there liking and subscribing and sharing these videos, we wouldn't be here without you and we love you for it. So thank you very much for watching this video and being a part of the community and let's get right into it. So, how'd your holiday shopping go? Uh, if you happen to forget to buy gifts or need something special and you've got a 3D printer in your house, then you're in luck because IKEA has just released some 3D printable files to amp up your home sound systems. Not only do you get to assemble it yourself, now you get to make it yourself. <laughs> kind of hilarious, but still pretty awesome. Uh, they're calling it the Frekvens Collection, created in partnership with Teenage Engineering with a selection of audio and light systems designed to keep the party going at home. Since, you know, government won't allow big events right now. So, uh, anyway, I love the thoughts behind this. Really cool parts and stuff. Go check that out in the link in the description. Next, moving right along, we've got an automotive segment. Today, we've got a lot happening in the automotive industry. Firstly, we've got lasers and Porsche. Uh, specifically, we've got 12 lasers on the new SLM metal 3D printers being used in a new E-Drive component for a front axle. It's basically a housing that holds the electronics, transmission, and the electric motor. They designed a proof of concept for a topology optimized part and printed it using SLM's 12 laser machine in 21 hours. It's not exactly small either at approximately two feet by two feet by 15 inches. Uh, it's pretty big if you ask me. Now, according to the team, the motor is made up of a permanent magnet 800 volt motor delivering 280 horsepower. Not that impressive, but it's got a downstream two-stage transmission integrated into the same housing, driving the wheels with up to 1,548 foot-pounds of torque. That is pretty insane. Definitely designed for a sports car. Next, we've also got the CT5V from Cadillac featuring a manual transmission. Uh, apparently, this transmission was made possible by 3D printing. Now, we haven't found many of the details in the actual interior components, but according to Cadillac, they feature new additive manufacturing applications. Essentially, they cut costs and they cut waste by using 3D printing to develop the gearbox, which is now quieter and more durable. The shifter stick also gets a nifty little 3D printed medallion on top, which is pretty cool. And if you're like me, you love a good manual transmission, and uh, they're kind of becoming extinct these days, uh, which is not that great. So it's really good to see this move. By the way, if you're enjoying this video so far, let us know by hitting that like and subscribe button. Helps us out on the YouTube algorithm, and we really appreciate it. Next, we've got General Motors opening an entirely new additive industrial center to increase the agility of their production lines. Now, we saw Renault do this a few weeks ago, along with BMW and Ford in previous episodes. Uh, and basically, it's a huge facility with many machines, all types of printers, and they see it as transformational for their product development, their motorsports, and their manufacturing. Uh, from SLS, SLM, MJF, and FDM, they've got it all. Next, we've got BMW. They're showing off more of Rolls-Royce's serially 3D printed automotive parts and processes at their additive manufacturing campus. Now, they're focused this time on a large batch of DFAM optimized and serially 3D printed automotive metal parts. Now, Rolls-Royce has already told us a few years ago that they had already been producing over 10,000 parts in 3D for their Phantom models alone. Just a few months ago, they used additive manufacturing to expand the body of their new Ghost Extended without sacrificing internal comfort. <laughs> Those cars are like clouds, I tell you. Uh, and we've got even more. Uh, we've got Aptera Motors launching a 3D printed self-charging electric vehicle. Finally, self-charging. Been waiting for this one. Last week, they just opened pre-orders for the new Never Charge Solar Electric Vehicle, or SEV, the Aptera. Uh, it's apparently the most energy efficient vehicle currently available on the market, combining metal 3D printing, solar and electric power, along with aerodynamic design made possible by additive. The wheels are made of carbon fiber and hemp, uh, and it's set to be delivered by 2021, thanks to 3D printing. Okay, so what do we really care about here? 
Yes, it's pretty fast. It goes from zero to 60 in just 3.5 seconds, but it also maxes out at 110 miles an hour. Uh, but still, that'd, that'd be pretty good for a daily driver. You're not going that fast that often, right? And starting at about 25 grand to 46 grand, we might all actually end up in these things not too far in the future. So, yeah. Uh, now we've got a cool little segue about one of the printers that we sell and specialize in, the Funmat HT from Intamsis, uh, and a case study on a Swedish pharmaceutical firm production line. Basically, they had a packaging line that went down and spare parts were about eight weeks to get, and it was just some simple little pulleys, right? So instead, they just used the Funmat HT to print in high temp functional materials uh, in a way that can last millions of cycles. And uh, they basically got the machines back up and running in a matter of days. We didn't have any spare parts in stock yet, explained Linus, a production technician at Abigo. The delivery time for the original spare parts turned out to be seven to eight weeks. Too long. Right from the start, I've been looking for a 3D printer which you can print Peak and Ultim because we're in a strictly regulated business. For some things, we really need approval of the materials we use. This is a great little application for something like Ultim where you really do have to use special materials. And for only 7,500 bucks, you get a machine with a 450 Celsius nozzle, 160 Celsius bed, a 90 Celsius chamber, all with independent drivers and a super rigid all steel frame. Uh, we literally even took one off-roading one time. If you haven't seen that video yet, definitely check it out. And since we support it here in the USA, directly from us, we do all the quality checks. It's a great deal when you've got our team behind you. Now, uh, you can even cook pizza in it. Okay, not really, but I mean, yes, you can, but you shouldn't, yeah, anyway. Um, check out our shop if you wanna know more, visionminer.com. And if you're loving it, hit that like and subscribe button. Next, we've got 3D printed food. In a new video, the chefs over at Michelin starred restaurant Cochina Hermanos Torres in Barcelona show how they use the foodini I love that name. The Fudini 3D printer by Natural Machines to make shapes that would normally not be possible by hand. Uh, frankly, if you want to know more about this one, we have an entire video on food 3D printing that we just released. So go check that out on our YouTube channel, Facebook, or wherever it's at. There's a link in the description. Next, we've got a technology segment, specifically in space, titanium, and uranium. Let's get right into it. Uh, Redwire has successfully 3D printed a ceramic turbine part while in orbit. That's right, in space, like 3D printer in space printing turbine parts. Uh, so yeah, they're really taking this stuff to the next level. Redwire is a kind of a new company involved in mission critical space solutions. And they've announced that they've manufactured a single piece ceramic turbine blisk in space for the first time. They created it using the first stereolithography or SLA printer to operate in orbit, operated with full autonomy, robots, uh, using pre-ceramic resins to make the part. The ceramic blisk and test coupons will be stowed away and returned to Earth for analysis aboard SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft, scheduled for uh, return sometime around January 5th, 2021. Developed with the ISS Research Integration Office at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston, the ceramic facility is one of three ISS pilot payloads developed to catalyze and scale demand for commercial capabilities in low Earth orbit, uh, producing high value products for terrestrial use. Uh, so uh, one of our guys, uh, Made in Space, actually first demonstrated this technology through a series of parabolic flights funded by NASA's Flight Opportunities Program back in 2016. Love the guys over there, shout out. Hope you guys are having a good holiday. Anyway, uh, moving right along to the next tech segment, we've got a French nuclear company, Fromatome, recently made the world's first uranium objects using 3D printing technology. Yeah, this is getting crazy. Uh, this technological leap advances the development and production of metallic uranium fuel plates for research reactors and irradiation targets for medical isotopes, uh, which are used a lot in hospitals for the diagnosis of cancer. Uh, we've also got a video today inside the state-of-the-art Sandvik atomization plant for titanium powders. The EIGA atomizer runs on 100% renewable energy to make their Osprey metal powders for 3D printing. 
It's quite an interesting process that they use, getting millions and millions of perfectly spherical titanium micro droplets. Definitely worth a watch. Check out the link below. So the question this week is, what do you expect to see in 2021? Uh, or and what are you most looking forward to? Anyway, go ahead and leave a comment below and let us know what you think or what you thought of this video, news stories that you thought were cool, or of course, another funny comment. Uh, here at Vision Miner, we specialize in functional 3D printing, especially high performance plastics like Peak and Ultim and more. Uh, so if you need those materials or strong 3D prints, just reach out and we'll help you find the right solution for your business. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a positive rest of your day. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and whatever you celebrate, we love you and you're awesome. See you on the next video.